for immediate release. Disclosure of new technology to the world. The agencies and individuals who have been blocking it. Nuclear engineer Mr. Mehran Kesh of the Kesh Foundation for New Technology in a shocking disclosure, February 27, 2014, revealed the truth of the advanced technologies available for the remediation of the Fukushima disaster. He also released facts of the agencies and individuals within a network of collusion who are blocking the technology for their own personal benefit. Due to the gravity of the situation with Fukushima, these remediation protocols are required immediately to ensure the very survival of our planet. To overstep this fraudulent conduct, in a 46-page document entitled The Unknown Truth About the Cash Foundation, Mr. Cash published freely the full workings of the technology to the citizens of planet Earth. It's absolutely important that these technologies be free to mankind, he stated with some authority, not to be controlled by some. And if you do not comply, these individuals and agencies then threaten and force you to do so. The nanotechnology has been on the shelf for eight years, originally submitted by the Keshe Foundation to Belgian licensing agencies for rubber stamping in 2006. It was denied approval, yet within a short while, Belgian authorities contracted an independent testing facility under considerable expense of 2 million euros to study the efficacy of the procedures. The resulting success has been denied public exposure by certain officials who have proven to have colluded toward its suppression. And further, several individuals within the Belgian political structure are named as committing criminal activities, including murder, extortion, and overt threats toward the scientific community who are working to release the advancements to mankind. The blackout on these technologies means that they are holding the whole world ransom, states Mr. Kesh, who is determined to rectify the criminal activity as well as rescue the planet from a rapidly escalating condition with the Fukushima disaster. In the three-year window since the Fukushima event, suppression and blackout has been routine. All of life on the planet is now in peril unless the situation be immediately addressed. In his State of Humanity address, Mr. Kesh asserts that in order to freely offer the remediation to Japan and the Japanese authorities, planetary citizens must be informed of the nefarious activities of a named group of individuals within the Belgian agencies and ruling structure. These are not allegations, Mr. Kesh commands. The document now released in the public domain details the years of research whereby Mr. Kesh has endured numerous assassination attempts at the hand of Mr. Hans Brockenet, an official embedded within a rash of licensing agencies in Belgium. Brockenet has been a lawyer for IMAC, the Agency for New Technology Applications, and also a lawyer for IWT, the financing arm of research. In addition, this official has held a position with VITO, the Nuclear Licensing Agency, and now he has been appointed as a director of the European Space Agency. A glaring collusion extends further through the assassination arm of Belgian policing authority under Mr. Delanois, a described rogue officer within the structure and even beyond to the Royal House of Belgium, named as, now abdicated, King Albert II. These are not people, they are animals, states Mr. Kesh, and they must be stopped. We cannot go any further, he explains, we need to disclose and call for their arrests. The future of humanity is now literally at stake. 
Not only has Mr. Kesh been routinely hunted by this criminal faction, a multitude of European scientists have been murdered, disappeared, threatened, extorted, or had their work confiscated by this collusive gang. The Belgian licensing agencies have proven to be a mere front for gathering the new technologies and then fraudulently stealing them in turn. This was the documented case with the Keshe Foundation and Nanotechnology Research, the proven remediation for radiation contamination in 2006. In a further development through extensive investigation, an equally compelling issue has been brought to light. The named individual, Hans Brackenet, who has referred to himself as the gatekeeper for the former King Albert II, has been implicated in a pedophile child trafficking ring. The former King Albert is a known ritualistic child rapist and murderer and is accused as a central figure toward countless missing children per year. His ritualistic undertakings are committed in the bowels of his castle within the mountains of Belgium. Factual evidence, including his DNA fingerprint, has been found on or within the bodies of his victims, yet his diplomatic status is providing immunity and cover-up for his atrocious activities. In his compelling appeal, Mr. Kesh brings evidence of the overt criminality to the world and demands Interpol, The Hague, and the United Nations for immediate justice to be enacted. He stands strong in his assertions. We trust that the people of planet Earth will hear the call and rise up to protect the children, the scientists, the people of Japan, the life of our oceans, soil, and skies, and the very existence of the human race at this tenuous time in our history. These revelations bring to the light the moral and biological imperative to act now. We stand together with Mr. Kesh to bring justice and truth. Our very survival is at stake.